So now I want to measure the flatness of the plate here. I already lapped it, lapped it. And the way I lapped it is with the big plate, the small plate, and with lapping stones or powder um, made with oil. So that lapping compound, starting with coarse and going to, to, to smaller and finer grit from 40 microns down to 1 micron. So this plate then was used to lap the surface here and I hope that now it's within a few right. microns. Set zero over here and see if it repeats here otherwise I will uh, adjust the height here and then I will slide it a little bit like this then I will measure again and then slide it all across here and over to that side and then do the same reading until I've come across here all the way here and then I will repeat the other way I managed to sweep set zero at the ends and sweep and get it to a few microns and I think within two or three microns from end to end that way and the other way and it was about actually some 15 to 20 so it didn't take long and I'm pretty satisfied with what I see now actually and better than I hoped for and uh, the amazement is that it, it didn't take long actually half an hour and then it was done I would have suspected it took a long lot longer time this setup is of course a little bit flimsy and it's not uh, it's not what they do now professionally because that takes far too long time and it's um, I guess it's error prone also I mean every time you lift this up set it down again you can't be sure that the absolute level is the same so you have to repeat also take an average I guess yeah here I see it's three so we're up to three three microns but I think that's that's uh, that's way better than I thought so taking the reading from the other side or from the other angle I mean 90 degrees to that so I find out that I have zero it there between uh, not entirely but almost we have to repeat that again so we adjust this a little bit more and then see yep of course you can't measure the extremes here but you zero it here so assuming that that is good enough slide it carefully over so you end up with sort of squares that you cover lines like that and lines like that yep there was a big big hole here before I seem to have managed to get rid of that
So within two. Two to three microns. That's way better than I thought possible. 